Jackson campaign, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our beautiful campus and to the grand opening ceremony for this Engineering Research Center, one of the NSF's most prestigious, longest running programs. Uh, I would like to extend a special welcome to our elected officials and staff members who are joining us today, uh, Representative John Schimkus and staff from the offices of Senators Dick Durbin and Mark Kerr, and also from the office of Representative Rodney Davis. Uh, the Engineering Research Center we're here to celebrate today is POETS, or Power Optimization for Electrothermal Systems. This will attack the thermal and electrical challenges that surround mobile electronics and vehicle design as a single system. Partners from around the world will build technologies like three-dimensional thermal circuitry for cooling, next-generation power converters, and will develop algorithms for coordinating those technologies automatically. They will look at these technologies all the way from the microchip level to the level of the entire vehicle. This is a visionary project, and we are deep, deeply grateful to Professor Andrew Lean and his team uh, for their leadership in this space. We are also very, very grateful to our state and federal legislators for their ongoing support of the University of Illinois, and of course to the National Science Foundation for their partnership in this endeavor. Now it is my pleasure to introduce <coughs> Representative John Shimkus, tell you a little bit about him. Uh, Representative Shimkus has served in the Army as a high school teacher, a county treasurer, and now as a member of the United States House of Representatives for the 15th District of Illinois. He was first elected to Congress in 96 and is now in his 10th term. His district is quite large, spans 33 counties in southeastern Illinois, and is the largest geographically in the state. Among his duties in Congress, Representative Shimkus is a senior member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, chairman of its subcommittee on environment and the economy. Congressman Shimkus has been a long-standing supporter of our campus efforts across the board but particularly within our College of Agriculture, Consumer, and Environmental Sciences. Congressman Shimkus resides in his hometown of Collinsville. Please join me in welcoming Representative John Shimkus. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. As many of you know, there are a few members of Congress who represent the county. Uh, Congressman Davis represents the campus and uh, kind of goes southwest. And then I represent the uh, agricultural regions north, east, and south. Uh, maybe we should bring our map makers here to do some more studies, right? But uh, I agree in regards to Congressman Davis. He got caught up in that air traffic control, homeland security, uh, I think computer outage, and he got stuck <coughs> not in Illinois trying to get back here. And I told him that I would send my regards. He, he really wanted to be here and be part of the program. I think he will be back in Illinois sometime around 2 o'clock this afternoon, but too late. I, I joked him, I said, well, you didn't have to take down Homeland Security uh, information system just to get me center stage at this event, but uh, I appreciated the opportunity. Listen, uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to take a lot of time, it's just great to be here, it's very exciting. Uh, of course, our flagship university, major land grant institution, I do I spent a lot of time in the agricultural side because of the, the importance of that to my district, but also the research and development. Of course, the uh, uh, University of Illinois is a premier engineering school. Now, I came from the first one in the country, right, at West Point, so that's my alma mater. It was the first one, but uh, I think uh, uh, you, uh, this campus is well known throughout the world, uh, producing high quality, great engineers. So uh, we are great and very excited to have uh, the National Science Foundation uh, here with this, this great announcement. Uh, we got a chance to visit earlier today and and uh, what kind of in the summation of our, our comments is that we have to do a better job telling the story about the return on investment on basic research. I think if we do that, that will solve a lot of ills, problems and budgetary fights and, and the like. Uh, because those of you who follow this basic research to then the different federal agencies through our university system and then out to the market, the, uh, the return on investment dwarfs the investment at the early aspects. And I think this will be, as we follow this and the announcement of, of this 
grant. I think this is going to be true for this too. So uh, I'm just happy that I got invited to, to join you. Uh, I look forward to uh, uh, continuing to visit and following this process through. And uh, thanks to uh, the National Science Foundation, who uh, really is a kickstarter of a lot of things that have gone well in the country. And we're just honored to have you here. So with that, thank you.